Have you ever been so lonely that you decided to rent a girlfriend? No? Me either. I would never... That's exactly what I'm doing today. <laughs> Apparently in Japan you can rent a girlfriend and she's going to arrive in about five minutes and I'm kind of freaking out, so let's get into the video. Okay, there she is. She's coming. Oh my god. Before you guys meet my beautiful girlfriend, let me actually show you how to rent one because dang, it was not easy. After doing a lot of research online, I realized that you can not only rent a girlfriend, but a boyfriend, a cousin, uncle, mum or dad, or even an old man. Yes, you can rent an old man in Japan. What? Apparently after the Logan Paul incident that happened a few years ago, international YouTubers do not have a very good reputation. This made it extremely hard for me to get permission to film the experience, but after a week of going back and forth with different companies, one company trusted me and they sent me over a list of girls. One thing I noticed about looking through these rent-a-girlfriend websites is that the Google translation isn't always accurate. As you can see here, it says that Ruka has a clean system. Hanoka's bio here is that you will be healed in a fluffy atmosphere, which I'm not sure if that's just a bad translation, but <laughs> what's a fluffy atmosphere? And the standard rate for a girlfriend was somewhere between 50 and 80 USD per hour. They can get quite expensive, but let's be honest, like if you're in a real relationship, they're already gonna be expensive, so whatever. That's a joke. This website ranks Yumi as number one because she has appeared on TV. Pretty impressive. After I told them I was gonna film the experience, a lot of women were off the table because obviously if you expose their face, then they can't really do this as their part-time job anymore. So a lot of them for good reason said no, but there were a few that said yes. I was gonna choose this one girl, but then the management had a note about her that said, she has ghosted us before, so I do not recommend her. My ego would not be able to handle if I did pay for the date and they didn't show up, so I said no to that. And I went for this girl that had two pretty good photos of her face, and in her bio it said that she had studied abroad in America for two years, which means her English is probably pretty good. Now before you guys watch the most awkward experience of my life, let me explain why this is actually a business in Japan. Apparently there is a lot of society pressure and parental pressure for you as a young Japanese person to get married, have kids, have a relationship and go down that traditional path. So instead of having that awkward conversation with family or friends, they just hire a girlfriend for that annual event or that wedding or that party. The parents think that you're in a relationship and you don't have to have that constant nagging conversation about why you're still single. I also recently found out that loneliness is a massive issue in Japan and human interaction is just not something that everyone does easily. So this service helps them have a companion, just someone Someone to talk to and sort of get more comfortable without having all that judgment and societal pressure. And now the time has come to meet my rented girlfriend. I'll tell you how much it costs at the end of the date, but let's get into that awkward video. <laughs> okay, there she is. She's coming. Oh my god. I'm Jordan. Jordan. My name is Misaki. I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> I'm your girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> Nice okay. Alright, uh, I guess... <laughs> I guess the date begins uh, now. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, but I'm playing it, so you don't, you don't even know what's happening. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are going to rent a puppy. That's great. Yeah, so I'm going to rent a girlfriend, rent a puppy. Ooh. And it's going to be the cutest little kawaii pup. Yes! Uh, so yeah, can I uh, hold your hand and we can... Uh... Of course. Okay. Oh, oh. Like, 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 like this? Okay. Or like yeah. this? Which one's better? Uh, maybe this oh. is better. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. And just like that, the date had begun. And if you saw us walking through the streets of Tokyo holding hands like this, you'd probably think to yourself, oh, what a beautiful couple. She used to be a jet star air hostess. <laughs> and now she works at, at an NGO. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Girl of my heart, a traveler. So you've been to Australia? Yes. Many okay. times? Yeah. Many Ooh. times. I love Australia. Let's go. <laughs> good start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the date's going pretty good so far. <laughs> I wonder if someone's ever like taken the puppy. 
Yeah, yeah. Like they yeah. rent, you know? Still. They rent and they just this take. This is mine. This is mine. <laughs> Gone. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay. Oh, so pretty. All the dogs we get to choose from. This is <laughs> incredible. So we decided to rent a really cute poodle and I decided to ask my first deal breaker question. Are you a dog or a cat person? Dog person. Okay. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Alright, the date seems to be going pretty good so far and we just rented this cute little puppy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so pretty! They just, oh, they so just pretty. gave us a dog. Now we have one hour with this cute little puppy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at me carrying your bags like a good boyfriend. <laughs> yes, you are a good boyfriend. <laughs> The American dream right here, my friends. Where's the house? So we enjoyed walking Cleopatra the Poodle through the park. Wow, we're just the perfect family. I know. And then I had the terrible idea to FaceTime my mum. I'm gonna call my mum and I'm gonna pretend that I have a girlfriend. Because technically I do. So let's see how this goes. Oh my gosh. Hello. Mum! How are you? I got a, I just a very quick call. I have yeah. to give you a I have to tell you something. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. Look, I have a girlfriend. Hello. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> oh. Hello, my name is Misaki. It's Misaki. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Get through. Yeah, now I've, that's why I've been in Japan for so long. <laughs> you are lucky. Wow, wow, Get. <laughs> Get you. Yeah. Oh. Hey Brooke, what's up? Hi. This is Masaki. Hello, nice this is Masaki, my girlfriend. What? Oh, I'm in the middle of it. I. <laughs> you can rent girlfriends. <laughs> did you know in Japan? Did you know in Japan you can rent girlfriends? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, anyway, <laughs> hey, I didn't lie, I technically she's my girlfriend. For two hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, my mom's never gonna forgive me. She was like genuinely happy. Oh, uh, I, feel, I actually feel bad for my mum now. Because she was so happy. She's been waiting for this day for years. Really? Yeah. That was hilarious. According to ChatGPT, I need 2 million subs or a private island to even have a chance at a girlfriend. So remember to subscribe so my mum can actually have grandkids. We rented our girlfriend, we rented our dog. But what would be one thing that is better than renting a girlfriend and a dog? Obviously two girlfriends, <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. I've got two girlfriends for the afternoon. She's right here right now. Hey! I went from being single for 10 years to having two girlfriends and a dog. <laughs> and just so you guys can get the full awkward experience, this is my first time meeting Rudy, which happens to be my second girlfriend. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. Oh, handsome. Oh, handsome, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good guy. <laughs> What's your name? Ah, uh, Rudy. Rudy. Okay. R U R I. Rudy. Rudy. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's hot, huh? Yeah. It's so hot. Do you guys like ice cream? <sighs> yes. Because I'm being a good boyfriend, we're gonna go get ice cream. Yeah. The best boyfriend ever, right? <laughs> Say it. You're the best boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was so forced. I've still got. <laughs> I've still got one hour to win them over. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh my gosh, having two girlfriends is so hard. I thought it would be harder, but ice cream every day keeps the girlfriends at bay. Earlier they were like, I'm fine, I'm fine. I was like, oh, they need ice cream. So we enjoyed our ice cream the way that people in relationships would. Oh! <laughs> I love being in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriends loved it. So it's good. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. I'm just gonna walk past people, just be like, My girlfriend. My girlfriend. <laughs>
So obviously renting a girlfriend is pretty unique to Japan. Not many pl places around the world you can actually do this. Uh, so I thought we'd just ask some questions to my girlfriends and dive deeper to see why. Why they actually do this. So the question is, what made you sign up to this service first? So um, I think this is a big opportunity for me to like um, have a connection with people from all over the world. So oh, that's smart. Why. Very true. Very good. Okay. And? She wants to make people happy. Wow! You made me happy today. What is the most unique event you have done? <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. Well, you've been to a so you've been you've been to a music festival. Yeah, music festival. So someone just needed a date for a music festival, and they just brought you. Uh, no, not like a date. It's like um, we just um, just see the performance. Yes, there's yes. Oh. I have the one of the audience. So it's just. Oh, okay. So they hired. So the artists hired an audience, and you were part of the audience. That's oh. right. Yes. What uh, types of events have you done? Music, weddings, weddings music, music festivals. festivals. Some mandate. Yeah, mm. wow. Also. Okay. Many, many. Yeah, wow. How long have you been doing this? Five, five years. Five mm. years? Wow, she's been a... Uh, that's amazing, <laughs> five years. Well, thank you so much for being my girlfriend today. You are both beautiful women. And uh, I guess the only question is, can I have your number? Uh, no, um, you have to uh, rent, rent me through the company. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Dang. Doesn't change anything. I still love you. Do you love me? Uh, yes, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love me? Of course. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Out of 10, be honest. How do you rate me as a boyfriend and this date? Ten. Ten? Oh, she just wants a bonus. She just wants a bonus. I see. One hundred. Oh, one hundred. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes. These business-like minds, you know. Bye. Don't miss me. Don't see any other guys. Okay. Oh. Okay. Bye. Oh, that was incredible. <laughs> what just happened? Now that the date is complete, it's time to break down how much that actually cost me, which was a total of 60,000 yen for two girls for three hours. So far from my experience, girlfriends are not cheap. Obviously, it cost double because my ego had to hire two girls, not just one. But if you add in the cost of renting the dog and the gelato, the total comes to around 466 USD or 715 Australian dollars, which is an insane amount. I cannot believe I spent this much money on a video. So to make back that exact amount of money, I need this video to have 169,000 video views on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. What the heck? Goodbye. <laughs>